thinking you and Branch would make quick work of this place. No house unburned. This is what they get for helping Rand Grandbridge from Soma. For licking Elderman Whitman's boots.
The smell of burning roof thatch and a heady turf fire. Now that was something. Wickman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery suitor himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. The hair gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. Eivor, my muscle-banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Zoma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa, smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leif's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Maybe I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might black your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruise is shown. The guards here are vigilant.
Give up, you shit! That wall of pleasure! Sound carries over snowdrifts. I learned you. I practiced by sneaking in and out of bedroom windows every chance I had. Thanks, Avon. all of them. Ah, you fought very well, Bianna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Fridge.
soon and guide me. Hailstorm. He cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you say Eivor, fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum, the great summer army the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead, something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows straight. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm a sworn man. No act of any gut will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's will awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest.
than me. Didn't your mummy say it was all right? You think you can cuddle the grog? Prove it! is heavily guarded. to lift stone. Solid. This priest's lies will not poison I am more. We should leave.
Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. out of me. Nothing. Insects like you would not be crawling out of the muck if Wigman were... Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now, and water the orchards with his blood. No, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm, thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah! home thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Wigman's little man have to tell us. 
Wickman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned? I already know who I suspect. Your instinct must be strong if you're so quick to choose. So who is the traitor? I need more time to think. Of course. Feel free to search the Shire for clues, and speak to anyone you wish. You can swill with the best! Count on me, Eivor. I'll show you and the gods my worth. I will be patient, for honor and glory. Did you find enough clues around Grampridgeshire? Are you ready to choose the traitor? I already know who I suspect. Your instinct must be strong if you're so quick to choose. So who is the traitor? Leave betrayed you. Are you certain? Bierna betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Birna, you betrayed me. <laughs> no. Wait, I could never, never. My heart grew so warm here, in spite of the cold. You do not love me as I love you. But love is not possession. You love me? You admire me? Even under your blade. I would do anything to stay here with you. Anything. You would do anything to get an edge. Say anything to spend one more day alive. It's how you served me so well. <laughs> Leaf, Galen, take her away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wigman deserves death, but killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It 
will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She's a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Come on, I need a challenger! is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my blood, Eivor. I hear the voices of my slaughtered people on the air, calling Wigman's name. He doesn't leave this monastery alive. My palms itch. Where is that rat? Throat from his neck with my teeth. Patience. I'll attack when it's time. I'll snap your Thank <laughs> you. 
Sun Tristis Terram Atque. Shunyat on the Give me a hand with this.
We should return to camp before I let go and burn this ship to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built anew, crops can be permanent. Trust. That will be to But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clans. The end of the storm is my sight. You're right. God damn it. It's just. It's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Galen, what are you doing? We're at the mountain's peak, Soma. With room for one alone. So I claim this summit, Jarl's Corner. I claim Grand Bridge. You fucking rodent, Galen. It was you. You let those Saxon insects into our home. You betrayed us. It was preordained, Soma. Like the sunset. Like the bird's flight. You coward. You let an innocent die in your place. You have your sibling in the blood spring at your mercy. How could you waste your family so easily? There is no river of blood deep enough to keep me from my destiny. 
Only one verse of this song remains. It is my destiny to rule. It is your destiny to die. All of you. We all have our one day. Ah! On the mountaintop. Cling not to a place that isn't yours. Fuck your property, Destiny! If you kick a hornet's nest, it's not destiny when you get stung! How? Such a heavy price to pay for one so vile. I climbed to the peak of the mountain. To my... my destiny. Your vision took you as far as the mountain's peak. But there was only room for one to stand. I am the one standing. Please, Soma. My life in the lap of the gods. Please. These wounds are deep. You're lucky to be breathing. Not luck. Tactics. Evil men like to talk. Let's get him back to the longboats. We're going home. Mm. <sighs> His wounds are deep, but he'll recover. I should have guessed it was Galen. If I had trusted my instincts, if I had dealt with all this alone, or discovered him sooner... Galen deceived us all. He was a practiced liar. We killed the wrong warrior, Eivor. A terrible truth that tastes of soot and ashes. Do not think I blame you. I held the blade. The decision was my own. Now, I must explain myself to my people. The cost of war is always high, and victory can be sour. But you have your city back, and Wickman is dead. As may be all trust in me. After all, why should any trust me if I cannot trust my closest friends? It is easy to think so little of others, to harden against the world. It's more difficult to trust those around you. And does its difficulty make it more valuable? I think so. You're burdened with so much already. Do not let a serrated heart burden you too. 
thank you for standing at my side in this. You have my oath and my arm in the battles to come, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Good. One day I may need them. What do you have today? Have you got a contract for me? I have requests that may or may not involve violence. Interested? One man's death can be another's gain. Just think of the reward while you work. Keep you motivated. I have to go. See you soon. See you later. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Hi, Eivor. Hello. Let us join battle to There is always need for raiders. My chance will come. What have you got for me today? Can't have too many. This was a smart purchase. Everything? May I see your stores? Yes, I 
Taking the sentence. Else? I must take my leave. So long. I hope to see you soon. Uh, <laughs> the gods are smart. I would like to see what you have in stock. A keen eye for quality. My pieces are good, but that one's very good. One's pretty good. Nothing else I can do for you? I'm off. Be well, friend. Fight well, Eivor. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. Another one? 
You are certainly proficient as a token of my gratitude. I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarl Skonner, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. Not everything went as planned. Good people died. We have their oaths, but not their admiration. A pity. But we have what we need. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oath to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? No words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. 
Well, there's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roar is already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! Nothing for you here but death! Does this stir your thirst for battle, Randri? the last of them. The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Giedland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Ah. Ah. Have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound. Scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. May there be one who mourns you at home, for we will not. Eivor, I could have sent my scouts to follow him home. 
We might have learned something. The price of such disrespect is death, Ranvi. Just as Sigurd would have done. I cannot devise a strategy if my advice is ignored. To let that man live would announce to the world that we are soft and cowardly. Now these wayward Danes know to fear us. Forgive my haste, Ranvi, but Dag is right. For once you see clearly. I beg the gods that it continues. We should clean this mess and move the bodies from the camp. Agreed. Then we talk of our next steps, together. Absolutely not. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. We'll make the trip east, then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. Absolutely not. Understood. <laughs> 